Buenos dias, y señor y señoras. Como esta? Welcome to the news. The news that's fit for everyone. The news that everyone wants to hear. The news that will give you the blues. <laughs> news, sadly, is what I have to share mostly as a watchman. I'm going to talk about Barack Hussein Obama, the future Antichrist. <coughs> I've showed you before that his symbol with the sun rising in the west is a clue to his um, Islam brothers that he is in fact their Mahdi who will rise in the West but there's but wait like the old infomercials go but wait there's more here comes some more for you let's go back to the beginning let's begin with the begin when this guy was running for president he broke that symbol out and you look at that symbol and it looks like the sun rising in the west. It's got the, you know, the, the real pretty big O in it and stuff and all the cool stuff. Flip that baby upside down and look at the O. The O is the round part of a six. You've got three little uh, swats in there. Take those swats and open them up one by one. <laughs> what do you get? Six, six, six. This guy was breaking it out from the very beginning. He was showing everyone, daring you to know that he's coming in with the mark of the beast and with him being the Mahdi, the Islam's version of the Antichrist from day one, breaking right in the door. At his inauguration, he had that symbol everywhere and his date that night, uh, his, um, his uh, companion, Michelle, had a, a real fancy brooch that uh, Barack had uh, bought for her. And it was extremely fancy. You know what that brooch had in it? It had 666. Two very plain sixes, and you unwrap the other on each side of the, of the big gaudy brooch, and you take the other strand, and you unwrap that from the brooch, and you got a third six. It's 666. Six, six. Started out from scratch, just daring people to say anything, daring anyone to notice who this guy is off the bat. And so much more. Again, there's so much more. I've been sharing just for the last several days what's going on with this guy and did a sermon yesterday man just blew it out of the water that my brother Kevin had uh, written up uh, all this information he had did on uh, Obama being connected to the beast from the sea and the number of the beast being his name unreal stuff and again I know that most are clueless few have wisdom and understanding the way Revelation says you have to have to be able to understand who this man is whose name is a number and that number is 666 most will be like the rest of the world they won't even know who he is till after the Arpazo rapture catching away whatever you want to call it but I know who he is I prove it over and over again he sticks it right in your face you can't even see it here's the thing here's the Tingmon you have to be saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood there's no other way around it no other way around it there's no way to God the Father except through the Son Jesus Christ if you're unsaved or backslidden, I've got a prayer in the box below the video title. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have there as soon as possible. No one's guaranteed any more time in their life. Also in that box is my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It tells you how to get saved, what to expect, A to Z, in the coming tribulation. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me and I will. Christians, witness and pray for the lost night and day. That's our job. Keep doing it all the time regardless. And look up, my friends. Our dip and draweth nigh. We fly soon. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.